Hello everyone and welcome back to the tent. Uh, about a week and a half ago there were some guys up here working on the uh, backwoods cabin and they had an excavator in here, a backhoe, and they called me up and wanted to know if I wanted them to dig the hole for the well even though I wasn't up here and I told them to go ahead and do it. Well when they dug down about uh, four and a half feet down they hit water and I wanted them dug down 12 feet which they're a little more than 12 feet here. And uh, so they did, but the, water, the sand and everything down there, after you get past the rocks, it was sandy and that kept uh, coming in and caving in on the hole. So I had all the parts here for the well, the piping. So I had them go ahead and run the piping down in there. And right here you'll see the clips of them doing that. Okay, so that's what was happening when I wasn't here. Now I'm up here this time, I'm going to take and pop this top four foot piece off. And I've got some smaller pieces we're going to get those put on. And we are going to install the hand pump well and see how it works. sure if the camera picks it up but you can see water down there yeah it looks like four feet they said it was like four and a half feet so I don't know if you can see that though Okay, so I had to put this piece on right here because a two inch pipe with the pitcher type wells have an inch and a quarter inlet and I had to go down, but by putting a two inch in, if I want to, I can drop a windmill type pump well down here and uh, it all fits inside of a two inch pipe. Alright, so over here in my little storage area, I have the pump, pull that out, and let's hook it up. So eventually now, I'm going to build a platform here. A person could put a, a whole little pump house over this and make it look real cute, but at least by having these pieces, like I can add a 6 inch piece or a 12 inch piece and raise this up or down wherever I want to put the platform. So, um, you know, this will change over time, but right now I want it to pump water. Alright, now with these pitcher type pumps, unlike, uh, I call them a windmill pump where the pump is actually below the water, this thing, everything is done inside the cylinder. There's uh, leathers in there, and when you pump, it's, it creates a suction mo motion. So you have to prime this pump, and you prime these pumps, and uh, once it brings up water, if you have no leaks in your pipe or anything like that, it'll hold that prime for 20 minutes all up to, like, overnight. But, like, back in the day, they always had a bucket of water sitting right underneath here, and they would fill their other buckets, and then there would always be some water in that bucket. And you would take that in the morning, you would dump it in here to prime that pump, and you're usually good all day. So I have taken some water now and I poured it in here, just had regular old lake water because I'm going to be pumping a lot of crappy water out. Got it primed up. 
And then when you pumped it, it took a few pumps. Now you can see how dirty that water is. It's coming out from down below. Now the idea is to get this pumped out because all that water was dirty from digging this hole. So until I get all that dirty crap out of there and everything, then I'll finally start to get clean water. Right. That's why you bring guys up, you feed them beer and say pump that and get it cleared up. It's looking better all the time. <laughs> you're looking water going out, you're going in. <laughs> okay. okay, well the water is starting to get quite a bit clear. I mean it still has a ways to go, but I mean look at the difference in that from what it was yesterday. The water up here always will have a kind of a, I don't know, if you fill up a whole bucket, it'll have a little bit of a brownish hue because, well, this is the iron range of Minnesota. There's a lot of iron in the water, but it's getting better.